In this video, we want to learn some basic differentiation rules, all right? Okay, so we have the functions and then we have their respective derivatives. Okay, so in our previous video, we talked about um, the derivative of constant that is just c, that for any constant, right, the derivative is just going to be zero. So what we mean by constant is just when the function is just a number, right, just like 5 having 10, the derivative of any number at all without the x, right, is just going to be zero. Good. Now in this video, we want to concentrate on the second function, which we call the power function. So when we have x raised to just some power n, right, where that n is also any real number at all, okay, the derivative is just going to be of this form. Now you bring down the power, n to the front, we have it this way, then you multiply it with the x, right, and you raise it to n minus 1. So you're going to subtract 1 from n, and that keep, then, keep that as the power, then you now bring down the original power and multiply it with the x. Good. So we have here some examples that best illustrate that second rule. So we're going to apply that second rule in these examples and then see what we've got. Okay, good. So we had the first function to be just x squared, right? So to differentiate this function x squared using the power rule, I'm going to put it down this way. And the derivative with respect to x, right, of the function x squared. So you put it down d dx of x squared is going to be, well, using the power rule, we will bring down the power, right? That will mean we'll bring down the 2. Then we put down the x, just as the rule states. And then we will now subtract 1, right? Look, I subtract 1 from that power. So this is n, you subtract 1 from it. So this was 2. We will now subtract 1 from it. That will be 2 minus 1. But we can simplify this further. We're going to have just 2x, right, raised to power 1. You know, 2 minus 1 is just going to give us 1 as a power, which is the same thing there. Good. And then we do the same thing here. Well, we're going to have to differentiate this function x to the fourth power, right? Okay, so when we do that, well, this will give us bringing the power down, as always. So we're going to bring down the 4, right? And then right put down the x and then subtract 1 from that power, right? So we're going to subtract 1 from the 4. Good. So this will now give us 4x raised to the power 3. Good. So this right here is the derivative of that second function. So the derivative of the first function. Good. And then we have the third function here. Well, the power of x here is 1 already, right? Good. So when we do that, we're going to have to bring the power down. So this was 1. Oh, let me put down the derivative, right? So we have the derivative with respect to x of the function just x. So as I said, we are going to bring down the power, okay, which is going to be 1. Right, good. And then we multiply it with x. And then we will subtract 1 from the power. So the original power here is 1. We will subtract 1 from that 1, all right, which is going to be just 0. So we have x raised to the power 0, right? When you raise a number to power 0, let's say x is not equal to 0, all right? When you raise x to power 0, the result of this is going to be just 0. 1, right? So we're going to have 1 times this 1, right? So this 1 times 1, and then we have 1 to be the derivative of just x. So if you differentiate x with respect to x, you know you're having something like this. The derivative of x with respect to x, right? It seems to be that the numerator and denominator are the same, so they will just cancel and give you 1. But um, that's not true, okay, based on the definition of derivatives. All right, good. This, all these are the results we get from the first principle of differentiations, okay? Good. Okay, let's look at the fourth one, which is a little bit um, not really simple like that, but it's very interesting. It's a very nice function, square root function. All right, so we have the derivative with respect to x of this function, square root of x. All right, good. First thing, we need to make sure that this has the form of a power function, all right? So this is just square root. We need to put it in form of a power, just x raised to some power. Well... Square root is the same thing, square root of something, we can also rewrite that as, but let me put it down here first, that we can rewrite this function as x raised to the power 1 over 2, right? Well, we have a fractional power, okay, the denominator of that power is just going to be the root, and then the exponent of that power, okay, the numerator of that fraction is just going to be the exponent in this case. Good. So we have it to be x raised to the power 1, one half. And then differentiating this, the root tells us bring down the power. So we're going to bring down this 1 half. We put it down here. We multiply it with the x. 
and then you subtract one from the power. So you just go ahead and subtract one from one half, and let's see what we've got. Well, one half, when you subtract one from it, you're gonna have negative one half, right? One half just like saying 0 0.5, so 0 0.5 minus one is gonna be negative 0 0.5, because you're subtracting a big number from a smaller number. So you have a negative result. Anyway, we can rewrite this using uh, some exponent rules. We're gonna have just one over two times the square root of x. How did I get there? This has a negative exponent, so you put the x down, and then x raised to the power one over two down, right? Good, and then we put down one half times that. So that'll be one half, so that is not too hard to see. Great, so we go ahead and look at this last one. Well, uh, this is the derivative. Well, let me put it down here, the derivative with respect to x of this. Okay, they're not actually the same like that. So it's the derivative that will give us that, right? Okay, so let's look at this function. I'm gonna write it again um, to, be, to have a, a power structure. So we're gonna put it down as x raised to the power negative two, right? That is what we get. So when you have uh, one over something like this, you just put the power as, a, ne as a, a negative exponent. Good, so from here, if we differentiate this function, okay, we take the derivative with respect to x of x raised to the power negative one over two, well, we are going to enter with, again, bring down the power, so you put down the negative two, which is the power in this case. Now you now multiply that with the x, and then subtract one from the power. So here the power was negative two. We're gonna subtract one from negative two. That will be negative two minus one. So we enter with negative two here, times x raised to power. Now negative two minus one is negative three, right? Good. And then we're almost there. Well, this could be a nice place to stop, but I also want to put it down as a fraction, which we were given as, a, as the question. So I'm gonna put it down as negative two, then divided by x raised to the power three. Good, and this right here is the derivative of that given function, just by changing it to fraction form. Okay, great, all right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.